everyone, welcome back to another video. And today I've got a cheeky little review for you guys, and it is of that new little addition back there that you might have noticed in some of my past videos over the past month. And it is a review of the Espresso Display. I'm so excited to actually show you guys this display and finally put out the review because I've been using that display over there for over a month now in my workspace every single day and finally I did like a drawing review of it and I'm very excited to show you. I'm going to be giving you guys my official review of this tablet back there while I do a speed drawing that I did while I was testing it out. If you guys would like to learn anything more about Espresso Display, check it out for yourselves. The link is down there in the description as per usual. And yeah, let's just get into it. Let's just, let's go, let's go, go. So a little backstory on Espresso. They are based out of Sydney, Australia, and they're a group of super passionate engineers and designers believing in true mobility in work and play. So as I said, I've been using this display for a month before filming this video on my workspace every single day. So a month ago is when I got the tablet and is when I filmed this unboxing and setup. So yeah, setup was honestly the easiest thing on the planet. It took me 15 minutes tops. The uh, paper feel screen protector that you can see me applying on it now is 10 out of 10, 100%. It's not rough like some of the ones that I've tried in the past on my iPad, so I know that it won't wear down the nib. It's very smooth, but still has that very soft paper-like feel. It's very good quality, very easy setup as well. It comes with all these like little tabs and sticky bits that made it super easy to apply. And it also minimizes light reflections from windows and stuff. So I can work on it all day long and not have to keep running from the sun <laughs> coming in from the windows. And yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Espresso Flow, uh, which is the driver software for the computer. And honestly, it is so, so good. It's an amazing, simple and super beginner friendly interface. You can pick different modes for the Espresso display. You can pick from draw, work, nighttime and even gaming. And this again is a very intuitive way to just allow you to change the screen settings with one click. So though, actually the one I'm showing you is the unreleased update that will be released very, very soon. The previous version doesn't have the manage workspace tab section that you can see on the left there. And yeah, that's literally it. it has two windows with controls, the arrange displays and the manage workspace tab. That's literally it. There's <laughs> there's no faffing about. It's super simple. You can actually launch your frequent workspace with a single click. You can create different workspaces that you use regularly by dragging and dropping apps and even specific websites into the displays and in different window orientations. Um, so yeah, so you can just set up your workspaces with one click. Personally, this saves me a lot of time every morning when I get to my desk. So depending on what work I'm doing that day, I can just click a simple button and it just it boots up my Photoshop and my computer and my email and my whatever it is like in the specific orientation that I want it in a single second. It's super, super cool. And yeah, as you can tell, it's super intuitive and the controls are very easy to use. They allow you to rearrange windows and where they sit on the screens with ease using these like little hotkeys. And these are super cool because they automatically divide your screen into quadrants and you can just rearrange them with the buttons on your, on your keyboard. The one thing I'd say that I felt was kind of missing on this was a pen controls option. At the moment, you still have no way of customizing your pen pressure sensitivity or tilt controls or even uh, recalibration settings. Now, even though I didn't feel the need to change any of these so far, it is something that I'm sure would come in handy at some point and also to others in the future. But yeah, other than that, Espresso Flow is so straightforward that there is nothing else to say about it really. It is su super intuitive, easy to work with, easy to download, and just it has like no setup time. It's really, really cool. And yeah, as you can see, I just kind of picked this little sketch that I had done a few weeks ago to work on, just to test out the drawing on this tablet. So um, yeah, I'm going to be drawing this little cute lamb girl and I'm going to be using Photoshop. I was going to use Clip Studio Paint, but I decided to go with Photoshop for now because I haven't used Clip Studio in a while. 
While I get into it and do the line art for this piece, I thought I'd give you some really cool facts and just talk about the actual display itself. Because I've been talking about the software and I've been talking about setup, but I haven't actually talked to you about the display itself. Uh, Espresso always says that they, quote, believe it to fully harness the more anywhere spirit. Espresso needs to provide both the hardware and software experience seamlessly. So the reason I was actually interested in trying out and doing a review for Espresso is the way that they marketed their product to me and the initial specifications. So Espresso Display is the world's thinnest portable display. It measures at five millimeters in thickness and it weighs only 850 grams. That's literally less than my laptop that I take with me for work everywhere. So it's it's really, really thin, it's really light. Um, and the other major thing that I saw that really piqued my interest is the fact that the display connects to your computer through one cable. Yeah, you heard me right, that's one cable. Yeah, just the thought of this gave me chills and I was like so excited to see just how well it worked and how true that was because with any other like graphic display tablets or any other like dual screens and stuff like you always oh god the cables are so annoying like three cables and then they split up into three different cables and you have to connect into three different ports on your computer and i'm like if you have a new iMac you know that they don't have that many ports they have like four USB-C ports and that's it so it was a mess but yeah, no, this one goes from USB-C to USB-C, so I don't even have to use adapters or anything. It's just so simple, just one cable, very, very nice. And cable management is a very big thing for me. So this was just beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, this one that I got is the Espresso 15 inch touch. And from what I understand, there is a 13 touch version available as well. And there's also a non-touch activated version of this tablet for people who just use it as a dual screen setup. The main selling point for this product, I think, is just how portable it is. It's as thin as an iPad, thinner even, I'd say, and it works like a Wacom tablet, like a graphic display tablet. So it's got the best of every world, really. If you're someone who works in an office or someone who works in a co-working office or someone who travels a lot for work or even just likes to go work in coffee shops, really, this display is incredible especially for the creative industry because if you're someone that uses a lot of adobe software for work this is such a a, a must-have you can just take it anywhere you can just draw directly on it you can like detach it from the stand and you can just show it around and i'm very impressed with it as you can tell <laughs> I was apprehensive about how well it would actually work considering it's only connected by one cable and it's a brand that I'd never actually heard about, but apparently the Espresso display picked up a range of accolades including the Good Design Awards, Red Dot Design Awards and even Time's Best Invention of 2021. So maybe I was just ignorant <laughs> on the subject because they have been out here changing the game for remote working for a while. You can take this bad boy out with you with your laptop and one cable and you can have a work setup wherever you go. Because, um, yeah, the other thing I wanted to really talk about that got me super excited when I started looking into this is the magnetic display holder. I haven't really seen something like this in any other graphic display tablet that I've had and it's so cool. It's so cool. So the tablet just snaps onto it so, so easy and, and it makes it really um, easy to reorientate and move about. It also doubles as a stand for when I'm drawing on it because it's uh, set on two hinges so you can pretty much have the screen in whatever like setup or orientation you like. And again, because the display is so thin and lightweight, it doesn't like topple over, it's very sturdy and it stays on your desk really perfectly and takes up no space. And also, as you probably saw on the setup, part of the video, the stand like collapses into itself into like a little cube and you can just take it anywhere with you. Yeah, all in all, I am very, very impressed with this product design and basically everything about the tablet so far. It's already blowing expectations out of the water. Yeah, since I'm here, I thought I'd give you some other specs about this tablet. It's obviously touch enabled, as you can see, for both Mac and PC. But something that I really liked in this new Espresso Flow update is that you can actually toggle the touch enabled bit so you can deactivate touch enabled so that it doesn't pick up any finger taps and only picks up the pen taps. And I really like this because I have a similar thing on my iPad 
because I obviously draw and I like, you know, lean my hand on the screen when I'm drawing and sometimes it'll pick up the palm of my hand or I f or like finger taps as gestures and it like ruins the canvas or whatever it does. So I usually disable touch activation when I'm drawing so it doesn't pick up on like finger taps and it only picks up the pen. So that was a really cool thing that I really, really liked uh, and it makes my life a lot easier when I'm drawing. So the tablet is also made out of aeronautical grade aluminum. It obviously has a very quick setup and all these magnetic accessories like the pen snapping onto the top of the tablet magnetically as well. Uh, it has obviously auto rotate on it, which enables the screen to rotate like your phone. Um, but again, this is something you can change. You can toggle lock rotation and stuff like that. And when this launches, there will actually be pressure and tilt sensitivity for the beloved creative users. Like I said, the pen itself does come with pressure and tilt sensitivity already on it. The thing that I mentioned in the Espresso Flow pressure and tilt sensitivity controls is that I would like to maybe personalize those in on a later date. And then going on to the drivers and the setup on my actual computer, the software, past drivers have taken ages to install and practically never worked. And um, I've had a lot of issues with past drivers where I had to like restart my computer every single time that I needed to use it. But I've been using Espresso Flow and the Espresso tablet for over a month now. And I use it every single day for work and it's given me zero issues. It's very, very cool. And I think I should talk to you guys a little bit about, you know, during the process of drawing a full rendered piece with this tablet. Um, there are some things obviously that I picked up and my official, you know, usage review. So the only thing that I noticed is that there's a slight pen jitter and a, like a wavy line issue. Now this is sometimes an issue that you get with a lot of graphic display tablets and it's a very th easy thing to fix, which is really good. I'm sure they'll fix it very soon since it's, you know, obviously quite easy to fix. And again, I think this will go in par with adding that pen sensitivity controls to Espresso Flow maybe. But I will say that disabling the touch toggle thing actually made it a bit better. It reduced the jittering and the waviness of the line. So it probably was that it was just picking up on my palm touching the screen for a while before I d disabled <laughs> the touch thing. So who knows, maybe it was just my issue. Another thing is that the stand, as I said, I really love it, like the magnetic stand thing, but you do have to be careful with how hard you press on it because it can tilt backwards quite easily because as I mentioned, it is on two hinges. So depending on the orientation that you use it while you're drawing, you kind of have to be careful with where you press. <laughs> Again, I think adding pen sensitivity controls will help out on this because if I could change how much pressure I wanted on the pen, I could avoid having to be so heavy handed sometimes to get the full size of my digital pen on Photoshop. Uh, but yeah, that's just a little example. I also found ways that I could angle the stand to make it more stable. The stand itself, as I said, is quite sturdy, never topples over with a display, but obviously if you lean on it on the upper section of the display, it will like slightly tilt backwards. One thing I noticed is that the display does not heat up at all. This is incredible, right? I have a pretty bad RSI, which is like a, um, a chronic like inflammation of the wrist, and it flares up a lot and really easily when I draw on tablets that heat up, like some past graphic display tablets that I've had. If I worked on them for a few hours or for more than an hour, it would heat up quite a lot and it would flare up my um, RSI very easily. But I was drawing this piece on the espresso display for almost five hours in a row and it never once heated up. And again, as, as I said, I have been using this for over a month every single day on my work setup and it never once heats up, which is incredible. Like I've never had a tablet that does that. Quite a small detail, but it was a nice thing that I noticed that uh, will be really good for my workflow and just my wrist health in general. <laughs> Overall, like if you can't afford an iPad or a big, you know, big branded graphic display tablet for digital art, this display is such an amazing option for you. And honestly, it's just a great option for everyone. If I'm honest, it's portable, it's space saving, it's not bulky at all and takes up no space on your desk and is amazing for drawing. Just really, really good. Um, I highly recommend it. 
and after using it for the past month I, I honestly can't recommend it enough I'm really glad that I get to use this product every day in my studio and I can take it home when I uh, need to go home to see my family and work as if I was in my studio back there as well it's just very convenient you know and yeah, like as you can probably tell uh, while watching me draw, you can just change up the the way that you use this tablet however you'd like. I had it like on my lap for a while and because I like to sit like a little gremlin on my chair, uh, which is really good for my back in case you were wondering. It's not. And I like to like have it on my lap like it's, you know, like a little tablet and I could just draw in whatever weird gremlin like position I'm sitting on my chair. <laughs> so yeah, it's very versatile in that department. I can have it flat on my desk if I want to hunch over, which again is very good for my back. Yeah, you can just basically have it in whatever sort of orientation you'd like or what, whatever angle you'd like. I feel like with past graphic display tablets that I've used, um, the stands that come with them have a limited uh, amount of angles that you can use it at. They just come with these like clunky, you know, stands and you have to pick from like three or four different angles. But obviously with this one, because it's on two hinges, you can change it and put it at whatever angle you'd like and whatever height you'd like as well, which is really good. And it was really actually good for my back because I can have it tilted, but at a big enough height that I can have my back straight at my desk and I really liked that detail. Again, I'm a really big fan of this stand, like it's really, really helpful, and I love the, the magnetic aspect of it. I think it's so cool. And it, you can just like take the tablet off and put it back on, and it's just like so effortless. But yeah, I honestly had a really good time drawing this um, little piece out on my new tablet. Um, I actually hadn't drawn on it before this video because I wanted the review for the drawing section to be quite fresh, you know, and quite uh, authentic. But I like I had been using it for a month just as a dual screen display on my workspace. Uh, but I was very, very impressed with the drawing aspect of it. I'm definitely going to be using this a lot, definitely for live streaming, because um, I do occasionally when I remember to live stream on Twitch or on YouTube, and for when I do digital drawing, uh, this will be so, so helpful. Just whack it out whenever you like and do some digital drawing. And even animating, because again, I am an animator as well, and I animate a lot on uh, software that's only on computers like TV Paint or Animate CC, and having this graphic display tablet will make my life just so much easier <laughs> when I'm doing animation work. I just whack it out and, um, and do some quick animating. So yeah, I just finished off this little piece with some little sparkles, of course, and signing my name, and I was really, really happy with how it turned out. I really loved the colors that came out, which obviously were very, like, perfect and close to reality because I was using the tablet on draw mode. And once I'm done, I can just snap my pen onto the tablet and shove it back next to my other screen. As I said, this was super, super convenient. I loved using this tablet and I highly recommend it. You can find more info on Espresso Display, Espresso Flow, and just Espresso as a company on the links down there in the description. And this is the final piece that I did using this tablet. Thank you so much to Espresso for sending me this tablet. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye